Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. My name is Azhari bin Kasbullah from Medical Technology Division, Malaysia Nuclear Agency. Our team have come out with an innovation that we call Lutanok. Lutanok is a short form of lutetium and notanok. So Lutanok is basically lutetium 177 radioisotope labeled with notanok peptide which serves as a carrier agent for cancer therapy and diagnostic which also known as teranostic. According to the National Cancer Registry, in 2003, one out of four Malaysians may have cancer risk in their lifetime. In the early stages, it is completely curable, but in stage 4, the 5-year survival rate is only 30%. Therapy with the isotope glutathione 177 can prolong a patient's life. Medical facilities started using it in 2010. In 10 years, it has proven to be effective in treating late-stage prostate cancer. It increases the survival rate by 20%. The method is also used to treat fourth-stage neuroendocrine tumors. How to detect and treat cancer early and effectively? Patients at stage 4 of cancer commonly have 9 to 12 months to live. Therapy with lutetium 177 significantly improves their survival, which is in 64% of patients, the size of the tumor has decreased by more than a half. The life expectancy of patients after this therapy with lutetium 177 has increased by 50%. So, the idea is that our product, Lutanok, a new in-house process and, and procedure developed at Bahagian Technology Perubatan Agency Nuclear Malaysia to produce lutetium 177 labeled with Lutanok can be used for cancer, diagnostic and therapy. For the advantages and potential, lutetium 177 has better energy of 0.497 MeV and has low tissue penetration, advantages for therapy targeting microstatic disease. Apart from therapy, lutetium 177 is also suitable for imaging for it has also the energy of 111 keV gamma. Then It has a half-life of 6.7 days. This is a major advantage that permits broad distribution through patient body. Next, the chemical is plus 3 metal, which forms strong chelates with DOTA and phosphonates. Lastly, the production of lutetium 177 can be produced with high specific activity in a large variety of research reactors worldwide. On the other hand, DOTA NAC peptide is somatostatin receptor, SST analogs which specifically binds SST re- receptor subtypes 2, 3 and 5 that show overexpression in neuroendocrine tumors. Labeling with uh, lutetium 177 is presently being considered as one of the most promising radiophonical for cancer treatment. For the impact toward the economy, people and nature, firstly, this product contributes towards the number of new radiophonical for therapeutic and diagnostic of cancer disease. Secondly, it improves quality of life of patients with chronic disease. Thirdly, the radiophonical can be produced locally with an affordable cost for cancer treatment. The technology readiness level is TRL3. At the moment, we are developing the process and procedure for in-house production of the lutetium 177 dotanog radiophonical. For intellectual property protection, After several attempts and getting convincing results, only then we are very confident to protect this process and procedure and have just signed up for the intellectual property protection. For sample preparation, firstly we have the lutetium 177 production. Next, peptide dotanok preparation. After that, we did the radio labeling between lutetium 177 and dotanok. And lastly, comes the purification of the product. For the quality measurement, First, we have a physical test of label product. Next, we did the radiochemical purity assay, then stability study, sterility test, and finally microbial test. As for the results, the results showed that the label product is dissolved instantly if the solution is clear and colorless, and the pH is around 5.5. For the labeling yield, according to radio chromatogram for lutetium 177 solution and lutetium 177 dotanog. The labeling yield was found to be greater than 99.5%. Next, for the stability study of lutetium 177 dotanog showed that the percentage of RCP 
is more than 99.5% after 168 hours of incubation time at room temperature. Next, for serum stability tests, more than 98% of lutetium-177 data knock still remain intact after 160 hours of incubation time at 37 degrees Celsius. Finally, for sterility and bacterial endotoxin tests, results showed that the lutetium-177 samples have passed both sterility and bacterial endotoxin tests. No sign of microbial growth as well as bacterial endotoxin content was detected. As for commercial potential, at the moment, we have signed NDA and MOU with our industrial partner that we have a, a few collaboration with, uh, that is a National Cancer Institute, private hospital and a local company which are in interested in our product uh, to be commercialized. And our potential market target would be cancer patients at public and private hospitals in Malaysia. These are our references. With that, I end my presentation. Thank you.